Welcome back to Turning Hard Times to Good Times. I'm your host, Jay Taylor, and I'm really happy to tell you that I'm here with Corwin Co. He is a CEO and a board member of Sitka Gold. It's a company that has three projects that are all being explored uh, uh, with uh, with drill holes. I think all three of them have drill projects going this summer, uh, this year. And uh, so it's really, really good to have Corwin with me today to give us an update on what I think are some pretty exciting stories. Uh Sika trades SIG in, in uh, Canada. You can buy it in the U.S. as I have under SITKF. 110.4 million shares out. I saw it trading at around 15, 15 and a half cents in Canadian money today, giving it a market cap, a minuscule market cap of 17 million. Uh, and that's good news for those of you looking to buy uh, inexpensive shares with some good exploration prospects. So, uh, Corwin, thank you so much for joining me again. Thank you, Jay. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's good to have you with us again. And I and I should, for those who might not be familiar with you, uh, let people know that you have a, an engineering background. Uh, you're a professional geologist. Uh, you've had some real success under your belt uh, deposits, and you put a couple of mines into production. So you you've had a lot of experience, which is one of the most important things that investors should be aware of. A uh, uh, good experience. Um, I. I as I recall, last year was your real first year that you drilled on your RC property in the Yukon, and uh, it was a pretty short season. But you had some pretty good, pretty good results, as I re- recall, and you were quite excited about it. Um, you know, they weren't maybe the the most the highest blockbuster numbers we saw from other some other companies, but as a geologist, they, they look pretty good to you. So, wh- what can you tell us about your objectives for this year's drill program? And I know, I know you're very excited about the RC. So tell us about it. Okay, uh, Jay. Well, first of all, you know, we're targeting intrusion-related gold deposits, which are mm-hmm. large bulk tonnage, multi-million ounce deposits. Um, and mm-hmm. a good example is uh, Victoria Gold's Eagle Mine that's in production about uh-huh. uh, 40 kilometers away from our property. So uh, it, they're not blockbuster numbers, but uh, like uh, Victoria Gold, they're mining around 0.65 grams per uh-huh. ton and, and making money. So mm-hmm. that's a good uh, anchor for us to when we're looking at uh, exploring for these deposits. And, mm-hmm. uh, yes, we're, we were really ecstatic with the results we got last year um, at our RC Gold project. Uh, we identified an area from mostly geochem work that was about two kilometers long and about 500 meters wide that uh, we ended up putting the first four drill holes, uh, diamond drill holes, into that system, and all four of those holes came back with gold from top to bottom Mm-hmm. And significant intercepts that were comparable to Victoria Gold's uh, mine grade, or even mm-hmm. better. Mm-hmm. And one of those holes bottomed in 16 grams per ton gold for two meters. Wow! Wow! So, so, so yeah, definitely that's our main objective is to uh, further define this whole system. And um, part of that uh, objective is um, putting about 10,000 meters of drilling, mm-hmm. primarily into that. So that's where we're focused on RC Gold, but we also have additional targets that we're um, kind of refining as well that we might put a couple of drill holes into. Mm-hmm. So that's where we're at with RC Gold. We've completed mm-hmm. uh, three holes to date, and um, we're guesstimating that we're going to probably have about 20, 25 holes into that this year. 20, 25 holes. And uh, what's the tor- sort of turnaround time? Uh, these days, I know everybody's sort of backed up in the in the labs because of COVID and <laughs> people staying at home. How, how's that? How's that looking? Well, that's a hard one for me to answer because you yeah. get a different story when you're when you're contracting with the lab than you do uh, when you actually get your results. <laughs> uh-huh. so yeah, we, we put our first first drill hole into the lab uh, last Thursday, and we'll just have to wait and see um, when it when it comes down the pike. Mm-hmm. But um, I would say that it's going to be, um, for sure, you know, three or four weeks minimum. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm I'm really cautious about putting out uh, timelines for yeah for don't blame you. because of the way it's been last year. <clears throat> yeah, I know. And if you promise the investors one thing and you're late, it doesn't it doesn't help your uh, it doesn't it help doesn't you go well. <laughs> no, it doesn't go well. Let, let me ask you this, though, Corwin. Uh, you, you mentioned that 16 gram per ton, the deepest hole, one of your deeper holes at the end of the hole anyway. 
a lot of these intrusion related systems sometimes can get get right rich get a lot richer uh deeper right is that a prospect here potentially where you might have a lot of bulk mineable stuff on surface and then something deeper uh higher grade that's right. You can have overprinting of different types of uh, mineralization, too, of gold mineralization within the within the system. Mm-hmm. So uh, it, it's it's quite common to get some high grade um, areas as well in these intrusion related mm-hmm. systems. <clears throat> and and um, how late can you work there? How late in the year? We can work into probably the middle of October if we would want to. But uh, mm-hmm. generally, we like to be out of there by about the middle of September. All right, you know, all right. Just, uh, you just well, this is the, this is the the one project that you have a short season working on, but you have others in Arizona and Nevada that you can go around. Or I guess pretty much around the around the year. Um, so, which brings me to your Alpha project in Nevada. Now, I know that you put out. I think you're pretty excited about a drill result you put out, and and, and not so much because of the grade, which was I think point one grams per ton uh, gold. That's not going to get a lot of um, people who don't understand geology and, and mineralization to uh, d- very excited. But there were 93 meters of that, which is, you know, something. Um, talk to us a little bit about, as a geologist, why this is really important and why you're excited about it. And this is a your alpha project, which is a Carlin-style gold target. And, of course, those things, when you really get a good one, they're they're really worth a lot. But what are what are your plans there, and what are your thoughts about the Alpha project? Well, we're we're really excited about Alpha Gold right now, much more than we were before we drilled the last two drill holes, and and part of that is because um, it confirmed that we have uh, the geological model is intact, and we have this target zone at a shallow depth. Um, the fact that we got anomalous gold over ninety three meters in in one hole and fifty seven meters in the other uh, just helped that. But the mm-hmm. real thing is that, uh, um, more importantly, we ended up with significantly elevated coincident pathfinder elements mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that are, are typical for these carlin-type deposits. And that, coupled with the degree of alteration and the structural controls in that area, um, underline that we are in a very prospective environment for a carlin-type uh, deposit. So the geological community is really excited about it, but of course, um, just looking at the grade of the gold, um, well, that was, for us, it was really positive because it shows that there's gold in the system, but we're not Mm -hmm. in the heart of the system. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're vectoring right now. Okay, so you'll be vectoring. How how much drilling do you plan to do there? And these are are fairly deep holes, I believe, aren't they, Co? Uh, No, they're not, uh, Jay. Um, That's the whole thing, this... um, our, our last uh, phase of drilling there, we drilled two holes and confirmed that this, this system is only like a, a few hundred feet down oh. um, from surface. And mm-hmm. uh, we're figuring on putting in five or six more holes in this phase that's, that's vectoring in based on, on like I say, the, the, the alteration uh, intensity, the structural control, the geochemistry on the surface. Uh, we found out a lot from the last two drill holes, and and we had to actually expand our uh, our property package mm-hmm. to um, to include some additional ground there. Mm-hmm. So, some additional um, ground. I I think that uh, Alpha Gold is uh, is going to be very interesting over the next couple of months on what we see here. Yeah, I mean, when we first uh, when we first introduced your story, um, it was Alpha was sort of the long shot, you know, the um, the Grand Slam home run in the bottom of the ninth in the last game of the World Series type of thing. Uh, if you hit it, it's just going to put you on the map, and everybody will know you. Uh, but you know, who knows? You you got it. Sounds like you the odds are better now than they were when you first started oh, drilling better. on it. So, so much, you can uh, you, you can pay attention to that all year round as you can the Burrow Creek with about three and a half minutes left. Yet, uh, Corwin, talk to us about Burrow Creek. What, uh, how, how is that going? What are you planning to do this year with that one? Well, Burrow Creek again. Um, we plan on drilling there, but it would be in the fall, and it's subject mm-hmm. to us finally getting our BLM uh, permission to uh, to step off of the private property onto our federal mining line claims. So. 
um, we're, we're, we've got indications we should have that permit any time. Uh, we don't intend to go down there in the desert in the middle of the summer anyhow. Yeah. But, um, we would like to be there drilling in October, um, kind of as we're, as we're closing up everything in the Yukon. To step out there, and uh, we've got about a kilometer of strike length that's never been drilled that we've we've been able to uh, identify as the extension of the burrow vein system that mm-hmm. has the, the historical deposit on it. So that's our plan down there, and uh, hopefully that's going to come together uh, in the fall. Yeah, that's really a, I think an open pit uh, surface target, right? That's right. Yeah. Yeah, in Arizona, and so. You're sort of like the the traditional Canadian, um, what do you call them, snow bunnies. You uh, you're up there in the in the in the summertime up in the Yukon. In the wintertime, you go down there to the uh, to the torrid heat of uh, Arizona and Nevada as a burrow burrow creek. And I know that um, w- what is the resource on that? Well, there's a historical resource. It's been drilled twice of about 120,000 yeah. ounces of gold and about yeah. five million ounces of silver. Yeah. And the grade's about 0.6 grams per ton in the gold and about uh, uh, one and a half ounces or 44, 45 grams mm-hmm. per ton silver. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So um, All right. it's, it's definitely very attractive at, this, at these prices today. Right. And, and so that uh, resource is from just a small portion of the structure, I think. Huh? That's right. That's right. Nobody yeah. ever stepped off of that resource and actually yeah. looked at uh, seeing if this thing extended through the mountain. And we've, we've confirmed that from our first phase of drilling last year that mm-hmm. yes it does so, and uh, uh, how pretty, good so you so BLM permits and you'll be off to doing some drilling there in the fall hopefully yeah. uh, how well funded are you to, for all these programs well we did a financing in March and raised 6.4 million dollars uh-huh. and uh, on top of that we had some uh, some money in the treasury as well, and also there was some warrants taken down. So we're very well financed. The treasury's uh, um, pretty good. Um, we're planning on spending about three million dollars um, in the Yukon and our Canadian properties, and about another million down in uh, in Nevada and Arizona. That's our budget. So it's going to leave us with a surplus of at least a couple million dollars. Um, mm-hmm. At the end of the year, so we're not looking at going to the market for any financing. In the okay, that's future. it. All right, so hopefully, uh, when you do go to the market again, and, and uh, that's likely going to have to happen sometime, uh, you're going to do it at a much higher price. I, I would guess. I think you're going to hit on one of these. Uh, I would guess that's, you. That's my hope. That's why I'm holding your shares. So uh, I know I know you can't promise anything, but that's that's our hope. Uh, so anyway, it's uh, it's really good. I'm. Uh, I guess then people should just be watching for. News releases and uh, assays, and uh, over well, the next yeah, the several major, months, the, the major drivers are going to be the drilling and the assay results for sure. Um, mm-hmm. And the, there is the possibility as well that we refine some of our our new targets at R, RC and uh, have another mm-hmm. uh, discovery there. So, so there will be a lot of information coming down the pike between Alpha and and uh, RC drilling for sure over the next All few right. months. All right, very good. Well, we'll look to keep up with you. That's for sure. Uh, Core, thank you so much for being with us again, and we'll, uh, okay, we'll, we'll hope to do it. Hope to do it again sometime.